In the last session, we looked at our annual stock holding costs and our annual stock ordering costs. And we saw that as our order quantities increase, our annual holding costs will go up, but our annual ordering costs will go down. Now, the purpose of this section is for us to discover how many units should we order with our supplier each time we place an order? So what is the order quantity that's going to minimize the sum of these two costs? To get us thinking about this, we're going to have a look at an exercise where we're going to calculate our annual holding and ordering costs at different order quantities and look at the totals. So, let's have a look at our exercise. We're given information about the cost of holding one unit per annum, the cost of placing a single order, and annual demand. And we've been asked to calculate the annual holding and the annual ordering costs at a number of different order quantities. So let's set up our table then and do our calculations. So we've got three different order quantities or values for Q, a hundred, a thousand, and two thousand. We want to work out our annual holding cost. Our annual ordering cost. And we're going to look at this time the sum of the two as well. So remember, we have our two key formulae we can use to calculate each of these things. Our annual holding cost then at an order quantity of 100 will be the order quantity over 2 multiplied by the cost of holding one unit per annum. When you work that through, you should get 75. Our annual ordering costs at this order quantity will be our demand of 10,000 divided by the order quantity of 100 multiplied by 10. So we get 1,000. If we sum the two together then, we get 1,075. Okay? So let's look at our next order quantity, which is 1,000 units. Our annual holding costs will be 1,000 divided by 2, multiplied by 1.5, gives us 750. Check our annual ordering costs. We get our demand divided by the order quantity of a thousand multiplied by the cost of ordering. So it's a hundred. If we add the two together, we get 850. So what does this tell us so far? Well, clearly, for this company, economically, it makes more sense to order a thousand units each time we place an order. If we order a thousand units each time we place an order, then our annual holding and ordering costs will go down to 850. Let's have a look at our third order quantity. 2,000 units. So our annual cost of holding will be 2,000 divided by 2, multiplied by 1.5, gives us 1,500. And our annual ordering costs will be our demand of 10,000, divided by our order quantity, and multiplied by 10. So we'll get 50. If we add the sum of the two, 
1,550. Now we want to consider our three totals and try and use this information to tell us what is the optimal order quantity. We know as our order quantity increases, our annual holding costs have gone up. And as our order quantity increases, our annual ordering costs go down. Now, based on the table we've just calculated, the best thing for the company to do would be to order a thousand units each time they place an order, because this would appear to give them the minimum total annual and annual holding and ordering costs. But what if there is a different order quantity which will minimize the sum of these costs further. Without calculating or doing this calculation for every single order quantity, we don't really know which order quantity is going to minimize our costs. However, there is a way for us to calculate this order quantity that's going to minimize the sum of these two costs. That order quantity is known as the economic order quantity. The economic order quantity is the order quantity So, the economic order quantity then is the quantity which will minimize the sum of these two annual costs. And very good for us, in the F2 exam we will be given a formula to calculate the EOQ. So the EOQ is equal to the square root of 2 times the demand times the cost of placing one order divided by the cost of holding one unit per annum. Again, unlike the other formulae, this one will be given to you in the exam. So you do not need to learn the EOQ formula off by heart. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the information from the prior exercise and see how this would appear on the graph, on a graph. So then we can look at our economic order quantity on that graph. So, if we have a graph then, where on our x-axis we've got our order quantity, and on our y-axis we've got our total stock costs. So first we want to think about then, how would our annual holding costs appear on this graph? Well we've said, as our order quantity goes up, our annual holding costs will also go up. If our order quantity is zero, so if we never hold any stock, then our annual holding costs will also be zero. So, our annual holding costs then, when we're in our order quantity is zero, our annual holding costs will be zero. And as our order quantity increases then, our annual holding costs will also increase. Okay. If we think about then our annual ordering costs next, we said that as our order quantity increases, our annual ordering costs will go down. If our order quantity is very, very low, then our annual ordering costs will be relatively high because it will mean we're placing a lot of orders. 
as our order quantity goes up, that annual ordering cost will go down. Finally then, we just want to add in the sum of the two. So the sum of these two graphs will look something like this. That will be our total cost. And remember, the EOQ is the order quantity which minimizes the sum of our annual holding and ordering costs. So our economic order quantity will be the point where this total cost line is as low as it goes. Which means this point here is our economic order quantity. Note that the economic order quantity will always occur at the point where our annual holding costs are exactly equal to our annual ordering costs. Finally then, we'll finish up this section by looking at an exercise um, where we calculate the economic order quantity. So, we've been asked to calculate the economic order quantity for the following item of inventory. The quantity required for the year is 32,000 items. So this is our demand, or our D figure. Order costs are $15 per order, so this is CO. Inventory holding costs are estimated at 3% of inventory value per year. This is our CH. And each unit currently costs $40. What we are being told here effectively is that our annual cost of holding one unit is 3% of this purchase price. So our CH figure is $40 multiplied by 3%. So our CH figure is $40 multiplied by 3% or $1.2. So all we have to do now then is put these figures into our economic order quantity formula. So our EOQ is the square root of 2 times the demand, which was given to us as 32,000, multiplied by the cost of placing one order, which is 15. And we divide by our cost of holding, 1.2. Punch that into your calculators. If we round to the nearest unit, you should get 894 units.